Welcome to Way Down, the pioneer of faith-based weight loss. Way Down has been around for over 20 years and it is the only one of its kind. It's medically sound and faith-based. It's a program based on teaching people how to address the whole person and the root problem of overeating, how to end emotional eating. Learn the self-control of a thin eater, someone who can stop in the middle of a candy bar and have no desire to eat the second half. This educational seminar is based on reliable nutritional facts. Having a father that was a surgeon and a brother that was a surgeon, I grew up familiar and having much respect with the hospital and medical protocol. I have an undergraduate degree in dietetics and a master's degree in nutrition science. I'm a member of the American Dietetic Association with five years of experience working in health departments, teaching good nutrition to a large population and then another five years of experience as an instructor of foods and nutrition at the University of Memphis. Way Down was a natural outbirth of all this information and has been around for over 20 years and it grew to be international. Way Down Diet was published by Doubleday and Exodus Out of Egypt was the first seminar. The seminars have been based on video lessons, books, audio lessons and workbooks which tell people how to eat and think like a thin eater, and how to overcome binge eating. Way Down was established at the height of dieting, calorie counting, and exercising as the answer to permanent weight loss. And therefore, in the beginning, it was considered revolutionary. Our guest tonight is Gwen Champlin. She is founder of the Way Down Workshop. It's great to have her with us. She's a registered dietitian. Our program's about the desire. As you know, we're always in search of a diet that really works. And right now, a phenomenal movement is sweeping this country, gathering new converts every day. It combines two American passions, religion and a desire to lose weight. What we're talking about is a choice. She believes that through faith, you can lose the pounds that you can't seem to get rid of any other way. We're teaching people, stop dieting and go to God. Get down and say, God, can you do better than Rocky Road ice cream? You're the genius behind it. You know the nuts are in there. You've made the chocolate. But God, can you make me feel better than all these chips and dips in this great binge? And you know what? Thousands are finding out that he can make you feel better. It became accepted first by the population because it just worked. People were losing weight left and right. 8,113 pounds. 11,700 pounds. This is truly a power that is not seen anywhere else. Is that true, guys? Praise you, God. Clap if you feel better. Just feel better. They've lost over 20,000. It is tested and tried and true, and it has widespread acceptance. Well, come on out, Gwen Shamblin. Three years ago, Andy Sorrells and his wife Maggie each weighed around 500 pounds, but together they are now 551 pounds lighter, and they credit Gwen Shamblin's faith-based diet book, The Way Down Diet. Good morning to all of you. Nice to see you. Can believing in God and praying help you lose weight? Our next guests say, well, yeah, I can. We're getting truckloads of letters of things that are happening as people have been able to transfer a relationship with food to a relationship with God. What do you do when every diet you have tried has failed? I think a lot of us are going, uh-huh, uh-huh. Well, some are using an unlikely weapon in the war against fat, their faith. This long-standing permanent weight loss program has testimonies that have kept their weight off. 25 pounds, 10 years. 30 pounds, 10 years. 50 pounds, 10 years. 80 pounds, 10 years. 135 pounds, 10 years. 143 pounds, almost 11 years. Principles that are taught uh, with the Way Down Diet uh, that uh, have uh, worked for me, that uh, work for my patients, uh, have um, 
cause permanent weight loss uh, in both myself and my wife. I've lost uh, 50 pounds, my wife has lost over 100 pounds. The principles that are taught uh, within the Way Down Diet uh, are physiologically based. Uh, they have a, a sound uh, basis uh, in science uh, to eat uh, when you're hungry and uh, to stop uh, when you're full. Way Down Diet uh, has been around uh, for more than uh, 20 years and has obviously uh, withstood the test of time. It had such widespread acceptance in the medical community that eventually it influenced the Surgeon General and also the Center for Disease Control, showing that they're in complete support of what's been taught here for 20 years. Take your time, slow down, eat when you're hungry, and make sure that you are eating smaller proportions. Has it lost its momentum over the last 20 years? Absolutely not. We've been around for so long that we are on the second generation. Here's an article published just this past month in Shape Magazine. On the front is Anna Lynn McCord. She's very thin and shapely and credits way down. She tells of how her mom lost 45 pounds and kept it off. She tells of how she was brought up in Georgia around fried foods and fatty foods but her mom taught her way down and taught her how to eat like a thin eater. We have been able to pass it down to our children. They are passing it down to their children. I know that they will be passing it down to their children. This is unstoppable because it's the truth. It is true that this can be passed on to the next generation. But they've never had to deal with it. They've never had to deal with overweight and it is so wonderful. We know you really care and want to help your children and grandchildren so that they never go through the pain of overweight the ridicule, the shame, and the hurt, and the grieving of obesity, or the health risk and the danger of anorexia, bulimia, or overweight. I was a very overweight child. Just remember being very much in pain in my heart, being called names. I was very frustrated. I did top out in eighth grade at 170 pounds. I remember just the feeling of just absolute shame and embarrassment. I'm now at the size that I can't even remember being at because I was such an overweight child. I do feel permanently set free from this. I just feel so much joy in my heart and so much hope for my family that that pattern of overeating has stopped. Since we have been around for so long, we have been copied, however, I can confidently tell you that no other program has more experience or better results. I have tried it all, from diets to my own diets, to personal trainers, to 12-step programs, to treatment centers. None of it worked, and this is it. The first class that I went through, I knew that this was it. This was the answer. I would never do anything ever again. If you've ever tried to lose weight and keep it off, well, you know how frustrating it can be. Well, the current issue of Good Housekeeping has some inspiration for you. Carmen Tedder lost, are you ready for this, 102 pounds. Carmen, come on out. And you are on the cover of Good Housekeeping, <laughs> holding a pair of pants stretched out to here, and look at you, incredible. What worked for you, Carmen? The Way Down Workshop worked for me. It taught me to fall out of love with food and into love with God. And so now, when I'm depressed or mopey, I go to God for those emotions, and I only eat when I'm truly physically hungry. Yes, it is that time for Look At Me Now, the Joy Fit Club, and our newest member, who's kept off 160 plus pounds. She is 38-year-old Jill Snap, a mother of two from Tennessee, who lost more than half her size and gained a whole new life. When I think back of all those years that I was overweight, what hurts me the most is how much of life I missed. Okay, Jill, it's time for your big moment. Come on out. Gosh! Oh, wait, let me look at you. Oh, no, it is not you. No other program has the knowledge and the materials on how to get the complicated and emotional human being to change his or her behavior, to end years of binge eating, grazing, bulimia, binge drinking, dieting, and all the behaviors of an overeater and turn them toward thin eating. Thin eaters only eat when their stomachs growl and they stop eating when they're full. They eat less overall. The best feeling is when you get up from a meal and you know you have an overeat. Their proportions are smaller 
and they know what their body is calling for. You will return to eating like you did as a child, free from the worry about what you were eating and with a lot more interest in other things besides food. No place, no program has more trained, permanently thin, sweet coordinators. They are there to help you through the seminar and help you all the way to being a thin eater. They are located all over the U.S. and Canada and other parts of the world. This concept is not just with one religion. It's international and it's universal. Why would the Muslim population be interested? Because they are no different than me or you. They have the same basic needs. This is about pushing away from the table and turning to God for strength and for help. Learning to focus more on the future than the moment is good for all mankind. Way Down can work for any age, any denomination, any race, or any creed. The truths are universal to all religions because it's not about religion. It's about a relationship with God. It's about transferring a relationship with the food over to a relationship with your Creator. Where you used to read and think about and dream about and dress for the food by putting on stretch clothes so that nothing would come between you and the binge at night. Now you read about and think about and long for and dress for your Creator. Food is a false god. It's not a good companion or a preoccupation or friend. God is the God of all comfort. True religion should be about what you adore, and we all adore or worship something. So essentially, we are all religious. But what you adore could help you or hurt you. If you bow down to the food, to the pan of brownies, to the refrigerator or the alcohol bottle, it could be likened to a slow suicide. Obesity is fast becoming an epidemic and the connection to death and disease is great. Overweight and obesity is the single most related factor to cancer, heart disease, and diabetes, as well as joint pains and poor health. Both medicine and the government are highly concerned about the rising cost and the problem of not being able to get people to lose weight. Half of medicine has become convinced that diets are the only answer to the epidemic of overweight, and so they're hopeless. Half of medicine has given up on trying to get the person to eat diet foods and is depending more on pills and hormones and suction-assisted lipectomies. Dieting never lost its popularity because it's so pushed by the money-making diet industry. They want to sell their food products because that is where the profit is. But in the meantime, the population has not benefited from the dominance of diet programs and specialty foods because it does not answer the root problem it exacerbates the root problem, an addiction and a focus on food. But here at Way Down, we have the answer and we have hope. We watch everyday people who have dieted for years, let go of control and relearn to eat like a thin eater. 10 years ago, if I had not found this program, I cannot imagine how large I would be today. And it just continues to change my life every day. I love it. I had tried so many other methods that I figured, what was the harm? I mean, give this a shot, and if it doesn't work, I'm you know, nowhere different than I was before finding Way Down. And what I found was that when I started applying these principles, it worked and I had peace in my heart and I had joy. I did not know how to stop this behavior of eating for every emotion. I didn't know how to stop gaining weight, although I tried exercise, I tried dieting, I tried everything out there, but I, I could not get control of my weight. And through the Way Down Workshop, thank God, I have a whole new life. Way Down Basics is for everyone, not just for women. And uh, I am proof of that, that you can permanently change. It's a change of your heart, which leads to an external change. And because of this teaching, because of this ministry, I have lost 60 pounds and have kept it off now for seven years. I've kept my weight off using these principles for over 20 years. And I was an overeater and professional dieter that tried everything in the books of dietetics to lose weight with no success. I then turned to exercise and gained weight while exercising. 
How is that possible? Well, you can out eat your energy expenditure in just a few minutes. Using my biochemistry background and studying Thin Eaters and having a strong love and respect for how God has created the human body and learning how well designed it was for healing, I developed this program. What did I learn from turning to God? Is that it was natural to lose weight using hunger and fullness. Diets do not address the emotions of a person and the person's inward longings. Many people eat from the pain in life and the stress. Each person has a deep yearning for more, but they don't know that this yearning is just a pre-programmed honing device that God has put in each of us so that we might reach out and seek God. The heart is located next to the stomach, and it's not surprising that we have tried to put chocolate cake or chips and dip down in this longing heart. Way Down will teach you how to distinguish the difference between physiological hunger and spiritual hunger, and it is working for everyone, young and old, for children, for people who think they have no hope. It just simply works. God is a genius. I was always the biggest kid in class. It was humiliating. All I heard were, were insults, and uh, with that, you know, it was a lot of pain. Spiritually, physically, emotionally, everything hurt. I probably topped out at about 550. I had a lot of anger. I was running to alcohol and running to drugs. I hated life. I wanted to lose weight, but nothing worked. After taking uh, way down advanced, my life started changing. In 18 months, I lost 257 pounds. I felt like a new person. Maggie and Andy, any doubt in your mind that if you come back and visit us in three years, you'll still be the skinny selves you are today? Good no question. No doubt in my mind. It's time to get help by turning to your Creator and eating the way all children eat, the way you used to eat. Wake it back up. Return to natural eating. It's the only way to keep it off permanently the rest of your life. Do not give up on yourself. Just because you've been dieting and unsuccessful, it doesn't mean that you can't do this. You were born to do this. When you get the truth, the truth is going to set you permanently free. Way Down is the answer that you've been looking for. 65 pounds. 70. 55. 68. 30 pounds. 35. 80 pounds. 25. 45. 30. 50 pounds. 35 pounds. This is the place for permanent weight loss. Praise God. I gotta say, I gotta sing, I am a happy